So the first thing I should say really is that I am no fitness expert, but I do work with my trainer Mick. About every six weeks he gives me a new program and at the moment I'm working on kind of back shoulders and arms. So I just wanted to kind of talk you through, step you through that routine for those of you who are interested. So first up, it's some pull-ups here. So you can do six to eight of these. And the important thing is that you come all the way down, full extension of the arm, and then back up. Okay, so this next one is called a bent over barbell row. Um, I don't do very heavy on these things, and Nick's always saying form is more important than the weight you're lifting. Um, and the whole thing is there's gonna be five exercises in a row, and you literally go from one to the other without a break, and then you take a two minute break in between the three to four sets, so it really kind of gets you going. So, with this, point this it down. This is the lat pull down for your lats in your back and uh, use the bull horn as opposed to the flat one because apparently it's better and it's important that you grip the horns and pull them into you. <laughs> so. and, uh, not too bad. If it's too easy, increase the weight. I like to ease myself into these things. So this is our seated row. Uh, it's like rowing, but you're using weights and it works your back and your shoulders and all around here, apparently. So, another 10. <coughs> you have to extend fully on this one as well. Okay, so the last set in this set of five is the bicep rope curl. And this one's actually a killer. As soon as you get to your third or fourth set, your arms will be hanging off you. So, you put your weight in, you take your rope, you lean slightly back, look straight ahead, neck straight, and then pull for 10. So, they are your five sets of exercises, at least in the first batch anyway. You do that again three or four times, trust me, you're gonna be wrecked after. Take two minute break, take some water, and then we're gonna start on the next batch. So that first set was focusing on the back and your biceps. This next set of uh, five exercises is focusing on the chest and the triceps, so the back of the arm. This one really burns. Again, it's five exercises. You do 10 uh, reps of each, two minute break in between, and three and four times. So you really get a sweat going, you really burn, and you can really feel it on your muscles, which is what you want. So first up, it's uh, the tricep dip. Okay, so once you've done your tricep dips, you're down on two dumbbells for some press-ups. Choose the dumbbell that you can lift because you're going to use it again. I'll show you. So, there, you're going to do 10 of these again. Nice and slow. Okay, so now, you're using this weight and we're doing an inclined chest press. You want to make sure the actual bench is at a 45 degree because you're working a different part of the chest. Okay. Okay. So now you keep going. We're going to do it on the flat. Pretty much the same exercise, but you're doing it with a flat bench. And because you're doing it straight after the other one, these are probably a little bit easier, but you'll feel it. Last exercise is your tricep pull down with the hairy balls that have been nicknamed apparently. Okay. By the end of your last set, these, your arms are going to be killing you. So literally, grab these. You want to make sure you stand right up straight. You should feel the tension in your stomach. Support your back. And look straight ahead. 
and you're pulling down for 10. Nice and controlled. There you go. So that's your first set of them done. You have to do another four. So just to remind you, it's your tricep dip. It's then your push-ups on dumbbells. Then it's your 45 degree incline chest press, followed by your zero degree incline chest press, uh, or 180, whatever flat is. And then you're finishing off with these, your tricep pull downs. It takes it out of you. But you know, it works and keep it fresh. Like I change it up every six weeks or thereabouts with my trainer, get a new program made, keep yourself ticking over. Another day, I'll show you what I do with my legs, but I have to go now, get some food, and some water.